Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Wairi and in today's video, I'm doing a holiday gift guide for you guys. This is very skewed to beauty, skincare, all the good stuff, the stuff that I love to indulge in. So if you missed out on like the Sephora sale, and you're planning on grabbing some stuff during like Black Friday and whatever sales might be going on during the holiday season, or you even just want to gift yourself something nice, or you have a friend that is into beauty and you don't know what to get the person, this is the video for you. I'm gonna get started. I have a few items here. Beauty, skincare, fragrance, a little bit of body, and even some jewelry. So I'm gonna start off with foundations. Now I'm very into minimal foundations, foundations that give me this kind of look that I'm wearing right now. I'm not into full coverage foundations. So the foundations that I'm going to be sharing are really more skewed to light, medium buildable kind of foundation. The first is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is what it looks like, hands down, one of my favorite foundations ever since they launched. I'm currently using like my second bottle when it comes to this foundation. I love the coverage. Coverage is so good, it's so light. This is currently what I'm wearing right now. Very close to being like a slightly thicker version of a skin tint and the coverage is so good. The shade that I'm in is in New Caledonia. I've seen other people's video where they talk about like being a different shade in the same NARS, their foundation, and when it came to the light, light reflecting foundation, they were a completely different shade. The shade that I'm in is still the same in all their other foundations, so that works perfectly well for me. The NARS light reflecting foundation is so good. This is what I reach out for the most when it comes to foundation. The next foundation is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Now this foundation is absolutely stunning. If you're looking for another medium buildable foundation, this is definitely something that you should be checking out. I have them in two shades. I have it in the shade 14 and it's shade 13. This I don't reach out for as much. It's more of a, I'm going out, I need to make sure that I look flawless. Then this is a foundation that I would grab. Seriously, really, really good. If you're into that kind of light, medium, buildable foundation, definitely check it out. And the packaging is also lovely. I love that it's in this tube, so I'm going to get good use out of it. The last foundation that I wanna share is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. Ever since I started using this, I need this in my collection. This is like my special occasion foundation. It's a really, really great foundation. One of the things that I love about this foundation is that it doesn't oxidize. It's not going to be like your shade and then two hours later, then slightly darker. This is true to match and I absolutely love it. The shade that I'm in is in, I can't even see, 520. Um, w and that's the shade that I've been in I haven't like changed shades so good this is a really really good foundation another beauty product that you should be checking out is the Laura Mercier translucent powder I use the shade medium deep as an all over the face powder and it works perfectly well I've been using it to like set all over my face then go in with my setting spray works like a dream and because i really like this so much i recently added um the translucent honey and that's what i use to set underneath my eyes works really good i was using more of an affordable one and that's great but i decided that since this does so well let me just go grab this this you should check it out and if you're looking for like an all over the face powder still check this out because it works perfectly it's so light so you won't feel heavy or cakey this is more affordable if you're not willing to spend like a hefty amount on the translucent powder you should definitely check the sephora brand like this powder right here is so good. Um, I was on the fence of picking a shade a little bit darker that I can use to like bronze all over my face, but as an all over the face powder, definitely check out the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. The shade that I'm in is an ebony, works perfectly. When I went for the Sephora sale with my friend Numzi, she wanted to pick up powder for her and her mom, and this was what I recommended. So definitely would recommend it hands down. It's not too pricey, definitely in a good um, price range, so you won't be spending too much as opposed to the Laura Mercier. But when it comes to eyeshadow, I've been keeping like my look really simple. I'm not here creating like 
blue eyeshadow, green eyeshadow looks. Not that those colors aren't amazing and not that I won't ever try it, but this has been what I've been gravitating towards, like this look right here. Since I started using Pillow Talk, that's the luxury palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Like, I don't reach for anything else. And I only use one shade, but I think I'm going to pick up another palette that has a little bit of a darker shade that will look really great on my skin tone. But this Pillow Talk is also beautiful. It has four shades in here, so you can really create like a night out look. If you just want an all over the face look, then you have all of those shades right here. But I need something that has a little bit of brown that will look great on my melanated skin, but definitely worth splurging on. Packaging, beautiful goes into your purse, sleek. Next is the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is one of my favorite lip products to reach out for. Packaging, 10 over 10. Works even great as a holiday present. You can just put it in a nice, cute gift bag and this will be perfect. I have a few of these in like different shades and the shades that I gravitate to towards are more like nudes, neutrals, those are my jam, but I've been hearing people rave about some of their reds, so I will be checking it out. This is the Fenty Glow. I also have the Fenty Cream. These are a little bit much thicker than the Gloss Bomb. I have it in Cookie Jar, and another cream that I have is in Honey Waffle. This is what it looks like right now. Then the last shade that I have is in Fussy. Um, I'm gonna pick up some more shades because these are just amazing. So imagine you just buying like four of these for your friend, make the perfect holiday gift. Also, I think they have like um, a little like gift set with about three or four in them. I'm currently wearing the Fenty Glow. This is perfect for like every day if I wanna go out or I just wanna keep my lips simple. This is what I reach out for. Paired with the brown lip pencil, I'm good to go. Another gift item that would be really great for yourself or even for your friend is the Rare Beauty blush. Like these liquid blush are so good. I only have the shade Joy. That's because people won't let this, you know, blush rest. Like literally sold out every time that I go into Sephora is sold out completely. I don't know what it is, but y'all should give it a rest because I need to grab my hands on some of them. But Joy is such a good shade if you're looking for something that you can wear as an everyday blush. It's really peachy. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. But if you blend it out, which I know I put a little bit too much, it really sits perfectly on your skin and it just gives you that nice flush without overdoing it. So even though this is it blended out and I feel like it's a little bit too much, this works perfectly well as an everyday blush. So definitely worth checking. I've seen some shades that I need to get, grab my hands on and I'll probably be doing that during the holiday. I've also seen that they have like these mini sets where you get like one, I, I don't know if you get a one full size and two small sizes or you just get three minis. I'm not a mini person. I want like the full bottle. So I'm waiting for them to bring it back in stock in all the Sephora's that I've been to. So yeah. Definitely worth checking out. So that's it for beauty. I'm going to move on to skincare. I have only like a few items and I really, really thought long and hard before I decided to put like skincare products on here. I wanted something that would be good for everyone. So the first that I'm going to share with you guys is one of my favorite, favorite products. You check out my routine. I have one form of this product in my skincare routine, but if you're looking to splurge just a little bit, then you should be checking out the Vichy Mineral 89. This is so good for your skin. My skin absolutely loves this product. It's just hyaluronic acid and so it helps with making your skin plump and supple and also helps with reducing like fine lines and wrinkles. There are some more affordable ones but I always find myself going back to this particular one and it's no longer an indulgence for me. It's more part of a staple in my routine. So check it out if you're interested in like skincare and you want something that would add that hydration to your skin. Another product that I would recommend is their Super Goop Play. This is their sunscreen. Now I find that this is more affordable, but this just does so good for my skin. It's hydrating. My skin is not with a white cast. 
just so good melt into your skin and the price range is around 25 to like 30 bucks it's not it's not expensive at all i really love it it's spf 15 definitely one of the best sunscreen that i've used and you know even damien loves this he tends to lean towards this a little bit more than the other sunscreens that i have and he said he prefers the smell of this as opposed to the other ones that i have if you're looking to get your hands on sunscreen definitely check out the super goop one it's affordable and they have like different variations they have sunscreen for your lips for your face for your body if you're looking for sunscreen to uh, apply like let's say you have makeup on and you're looking for how to keep reapplying your sunscreen they have that too so check it out i think they mainly focus on just sunscreens but i have quite a few of the charlotte tilbury products on here but the next i would recommend is their magic night cream they have a day cream but i don't know what it is about the night cream it just does it for me and more especially now that the weather is getting a little bit colder and i don't even think we had fall we literally just had a little bit of fall and skipped to winter so i need a thicker moisturizer and this is giving me that i don't know it reminds me of like slugging but without the vaseline and yeah i absolutely love it i reach out for it sometimes during the day sometimes at night so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for like a thicker moisturizer that you can incorporate into your skincare routine charlotte tilbury is not for the faint heart it's quite pricey so definitely think long and hard before you add this into your routine i wanted to share other products but i thought this would make a really great gift um, more especially if you have sensitive skin this is their calm collection from polish choice this is the pr package that i received but this will be a good way to kind of start on your skincare journey so if you're wondering like what you should be using at every point in time then this just kind of has the range that you're looking for. It has a cleanser. This is an exfoliant. It has a repairing serum with ceramides in it. And to finish it up, they have a rescue and repair intensive moisturizer. So this is basically your full skincare routine, but definitely a good way to start your skincare journey if you're looking for something to add. So yeah, check it out. Moving on to body. I only wanted to feature this product because this product, chef's kiss, absolutely love it, is the Fenty Buddy Butter Drop. Butter Drop, yes. Now, I picked up the refill because I already have like the case. So this is more of an indulgence for me because I don't really have dry skin, but Damien does. So during fall and winter, he gets super dry. And so we try to incorporate this into our routine because normal regular lotion doesn't do anything for him um i love that it also comes in refillable packs and yeah i need to refill mine right now because we're going to be using this after this video but so good so moisturizing keeps your skin glowy i love the smell oh my god this almost fell down <laughs> I love the smell of this, so um, definitely worth trying. Once you buy the pack, all you need to do is just buy the refill and incorporate it into your routine. But it's a really, really great product. One of the reasons why I featured it is because Damien really, really loves it and it's so moisturizing. I absolutely love it too, um, but I can also get by without like, you know, using such a heavy moisturizer. But as winter gets closer, mmm the cracks on your body you definitely need something thicker something that would keep you moisturized for longer and this just does it for me so if you're in the market for like a body butter definitely check this out when it comes to perfume i only have two perfumes that i'm going to be sharing with you guys i wanted to keep it to perfumes that i absolutely love and this one i've had the longest in my collection this is the lancome la via belle this is a great fragrance like absolutely love it i consider this like my date night perfume if i want to feel a little bit sweet sensual sexy you know this is what i reach out for the most now there are two types of the levia bell there's one that has like the crystallized body if you see that get that that is equally as great as this it's a very sweet vanilla powdery scent it has notes of like floral in it so you're just going to feel really 
delicate and sensual and I love it. Like anytime I wear this perfume and I'm going out, somebody's like, oh my God, you smell so good. You smell so good. And you know what? I tell them, I know. I know I smell good. <laughs> so yes, like it really is a beautiful perfume. So if you're looking to gift someone this holiday or you're looking to grab something for yourself, start with this and thank me later. Another perfume that I'm going to share is by Mansera. This is Instant Crush. Guys, I'm obsessed with this perfume and so is Damien. Damien loves this perfume on me and on himself. The good thing about this is that it is unisex, so you can buy it for your girlfriend or your boyfriend, it doesn't matter, you're still going to smell amazing. And I really, really like this perfume. I love how powerful it is. I love that when you walk into a place, somebody's like, whoa, you just walked in and you smell delicious. It's an instant crush. So you'll get notes of like amber, vanilla. It has like a powdery scent to it and it smells so good. It smells divine. This is one of the perfumes that I've worn all year round, definitely 100% would recommend. When it comes to jewelry, I like to keep my jewelry like minimal and simple. And the only place that I've been going to to look for like sweet, nice, delicate pieces have been Kate Spade. These earrings right here are like one of my favorite earrings to wear to go out on like any occasion really. I love the details of like, you know, the pearl in the middle and the hoop just around it. It's very, very cute. Absolutely love it. I have a few other ones too, and they're all from Kate Spade. I don't know how well you guys are going to see this, but this is called Love Me Knots. So it's shaped in a heart shape, and it's kind of like knotted um, around. Absolutely love this. I also got um, this from my friend for a birthday, and I love this too. I love the details, the, the black, the gold and the shape of it, it's a heart shape. So Kate Spade makes some really, really cute earrings and I think it's worth checking out. The ones that I've shared right now, you probably won't see them in store because they change their you know, earrings and jewelry as the season changes, but you definitely will find something that you love. I have this bracelet here that I wear, it's old, but I still really like it. I love the heart details on it, it's very delicate and I also got it from um, Kate Spade. So check out their jewelries. I'm going to link some jewelries that I personally like in what they currently have. And if that's something that interests you, then you can definitely shop it. But they have some really, really great earrings as well. Um, I also picked something similar to this for my friend during Christmas when she came last year. So they do make like good, nice, you know, simple gifts if you don't want to spend a lot. And you can find stuff for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. It's not too expensive. Last but not the least, before I wrap up this video, is candles. I love candles, but I love particular scents of candle. I want a candle to fill up the whole room. And ever since I tried the Nest candle, the one that's burning behind me, and that one is called Grapefruit. It's so fresh, so nice, like literally fills up the entire room so one day damien was coming home and once he got in he was like what perfume did you spray i'm like no it's not a perfume it's the candle he's like really i'm like yes really 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 good hands down one of the best i usually burn this more during summer and like you know late spring but i recently just picked up this one this is the one called wellness it says, drift and dream, unplug and unwind at the end of the day with the calming, comforting, and soothing notes of chamomile, driftwood, sandalwood, and vanilla beans. Immerse yourself in this tranquil blend that prepares your mind and body for a peaceful night's sleep. And honestly, it smells like that. I mean, perfect timing to pick up a candle that just calls itself wellness. So as the weather is changing up, you know, we have a longer nights and shorter days you do sometimes get a little bit depressed and you need things to kind of pick you up and make you feel in a good mood this is one of those and it just, just smells so perfect perfect for like the weather perfect for that cozy feel had to pick it up because their fragrances 
is great and their home scents are also good because they have some really really great diffusers the one that i have is also the same as the candle that's burning which is grapefruit but check out other ones from them they have really really good ones definitely going to be a lot of music in the shower and this burning just to keep me you know warm and comfortable so guys that is the end of this video i'm done sharing with you guys like my holiday beauty gift guide i want to know in the comment section what you guys will be picking out for yourself and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye